we have another Mova Globe unboxing for you and a, and a show and tell sort of thing. Can you guess which one this one is? Hi guys, Retro Tech Trek whatever Ralph here with another Movid Low unboxing. This is the last one for our solar system, so if you've been watching all of these over the past couple of years, because these are not cheap, these are presents I used to buy for my partner around about a birthday, and surprise, these are I'm actually filming these last two, the, the Venus one and this, um, before her birthday, so I'm literally opening these up before but I think I'm actually posting this after, so gives you a clue that she's not born in February. So this is a this is yeah, end of February sort of thing. So this one comes the same as the last one before. Comes with your your guide of how to yeah your owner's guide. Just tells you stay away from magnets. Turns using ambient light. So under the spotlights in here, I've got LED fluorescent lighting. It, it's it's hit and miss to be honest, but normal sufficient um, daylight if you've got some sort of daylight coming into a room where you're displaying these not direct sunlight don't put direct sunlight because these are a ball inside of a ball and they are filled with oil and the oil will start to cook they come in different sizes i don't I've never seen the four inch ones all the ones we have are the four and a half inch the five inch come in with a, a, a square but i think that makes that a little bit bigger anyway Six are quite expensive, and the eight and a half are horrendously expensive, but, but well worth it. Rover, any complaints, go and talk to those. This is just an instructional little, well, not an instructional video, this is just a show and tell video. So they all come with these stands. There are other stands you can get. There's one that's like a curved piece of wood, which you can just, a little bit of an indentation, just sit the whole globe on. We keep to these because they're nice plastic board out on there. It's come with the sticks for the stand, three of them curved end goes and sits with on top the flat end goes into the holes so it comes with one and two and a three so the curved bits are on top so it doesn't scratch the actual globe so unpackaging nice plastic polystyrene sort of plastic past packet yeah basically it's not going to cover everything in little polystyrene beads which i absolutely hate so we have the last one, the very last one that I have, and it does show you on the bottom of this anyway what exactly it is. It's an MG45, but this is MG45. Ta da! Mercury. Okay, so it looks very much like our moon, extraordinary like our moon in surface detail only. It's a lot more brown, a lot more scorched, and I'll show you the bottom in a second anyway. But the bottom part is is very, very burned. There is a possibility with this planet in real life that you could actually live on here. You couldn't breathe, but you could put a base on Mercury because the one there's one face that, that faces Mercury faces the sun all the time. It does rotate, but like our moon. The rotation every 28 days, the, rot the, the orbit round us is every 28 days. This, I think it goes round the, the, the sun every, is it 66 days? I could be wrong, but it rotates once every 66 days, or whatever its orbit is, it only turns around once. So technically one side is facing, but you could live kind of, let's say the sun's over here. So this is always burning, so it's always going to be facing the sun. You could live kind of maybe there on this sort of edge. It'd be too cold over here. It'll be too hot from here all the way round to here. But you could technically live over here where it'd be light. It would be warm. You could possibly say maybe on this sort of line from the, on the top. If it, this is the, the North Pole all the way around, the, not the equator, but the, yeah, that axis. If this is 30 degrees, that might be 40, that might be 20, that might be minus 200, that might be plus 2,000, I don't know. But there is a, a Goldilocks zone on Mercury, which is kind of strange for a planet like this, with being that close to the sun, that you could potentially live. Yes, it's a dead, barren world. Possibly there is lots of things to mine on here. 
it's it's a potential gold mine, all of this, but the amount of creators and the amount of detail work on this is really nice. And I'm gonna switch cameras and I'm gonna show you the side and the best views from beneath the best I can so you can see all around this. So as before, I'm just showing you on a mobile um, stand here. It, it's got a lot of detail work on here. There's a lot of burned scoring on one side. That must be the side that faces, ah, it's time to turn now. But the underside is also very scorched, very burned as well. I've got a torch in there because the lighting is not very good underneath. There we go. It's a very interesting little planet, this. But to show you the other side here, that is a, is a region. The moon has similar sort of regions itself for having lots and lots of, yeah, shall we say, seas. We call them seas, actually on the moon. It's probably potentially exactly the same on this. So let me just set this up in the corner there and set this camera up so it can, yes, th th that's trying to help a bit more light. As I say, it's a lot easier with ambient light than just having that, which, yeah, so most houses do have lights in there, but it is kind of working a little bit. It'd be easier if I did, it out, did this outside, but unfortunately it's the UK and it's winter and it's cold. So you're gonna to have to just put up with this spinning a little bit. And like in the previous videos, these work well in the sunlight, but not direct sunlight. So they will spin naturally like this. Look at that, and the lines on there, it's almost like it's been scraped into there. It's probably this, this crater up here, where it's debris just exploded all over. There's another crater down here. It's, it's fascinating. It's almost like there's roads on there, or at least paths of something. The amount of field there of all the asteroids that's been hit. It's a very close planet to the sun, so it's going to hit get a lot of a lot of debris coming in towards the sun. So yeah, like I said, it is very it looks very very similar to our moon with the dark patches on here, and all the lighter bits and stuff. But obviously, it's a lot darker. I'd say cooked. Um, yeah. Stopped again. Yeah, it's a lot more hotter planet than what we our moon is. So it's. I mean, a lot of people talk about with these and they break. And the only thing I can say with it is, I have had a video before I tried repairing the Earth that we got because it was leaking. Couldn't figure out where the leaking was coming from. Wasn't sure if it was inside of the planet or whether or not it was outside. But it turns out that the, there's one fill hole. If you can see on here, there's a line going across here. Either bang at the top or bang at the bottom. There is a small little indentation with a fill hole. So it'll be in a tiny hole, but they'll have filled it in. And that, I think, is where it comes from. So you have to just try and maybe the glue that fills the hole up, it just goes over a certain amount of years. Put it in direct sunlight, you're going to absolutely knacker these and there's no warranty in the world going to, going to cover you for that. But it does, does leak out a little bit. So my solution is either be brave enough and put a little bit of plastic on there, a bit of hot glue, super glue maybe, just to strengthen up where that, that well, it's not a hole, it's where it was a hole. Or a piece of sellotape, just just be as calm and, and easy as possible to make it not look stupid. I mean, a lot of people will put the hole so it's on the bottom, but that is the problem. So it will always show you that there is, it will always leak, down, leak out. So the problem with it is if it's down here, yeah, you can't see the little tiny hole. You can barely see it normally anyway because they've polished it out that well but you can tell it, and I'll show you when I'm back on the, the other camera. It is an issue, but it's nothing that can't be easily solved before things go wrong. Oh, she's got some nice light now. Spinning around nicely. It's been really well. Yeah, it says that and it slows down. So, let me remount this back onto the, get back onto the camera, and I'll show you where the hole is. Right, let's go hunting for the hole. It did pick up a lots of 
muck on and fingerprints to be honest it's not a kid's toy so this with the inside being on a gyroscope the electronics or the whatever is on there it is yeah i can see a line across here so that's the, the center part so it's either there right it's right there i can you can see right from my finger but where the light is there it is so that is the whole you can't feel that but guaranteed that that will eventually maybe go i would i would suggest probably small round piece of sellotape over the or just over that it looks fine as it is but eventually with the plastic getting hotter and colder as normal seasons normal houses um, get hot and cold this will get a little bit hot and cold and eventually it will start to crack there's not one on the bottom so i don't need to worry about that if that starts to leak there will be a ring of air inside it and getting that out i have a video for that but it's it's very hit and miss how I actually did that. It, it looks okay as it is, and I think our moon as well started to leak, but we always keep these. So that little tiny hole right there is on top. You put it on the bottom, potentially it will eventually leak. So there's my only hint for you is keep that. And it's not even in the instructions. They should say this. Put that on so it's pointing directly up the, the the more straight up you can get the better but this will be set up done happy and then left alone so they get ambient light it will nicely light up and then you've got a lovely little yeah ornament shall we say a 21st century ornament showing mercury so but we now have the full collection of the solar system which have got all all right eight planets um the dwarf planet pluto and the moon don't want any of the others i'm not sure that there's there's i think there's vesta and there's there's another moon i think it's titan i don't really want them because they don't really look that good so uh, i'm happy enough with what i've got but we'll see for the future shall we i mean maybe i'll buy another one i doubt it but i think we've got our lot we've got our uh, 10 now so that's that's fine so brilliant i mean these are really good go to Nova, uh, Mova globe and they'll show you retailers we buy ours usually from david shuttle i'll give him a bit of a plug because on the bottom of this does actually show david shuttle.com this is in the uk established 1978 yeah they are a good little company that supplies these in the uk other companies in the uk do supply so yes if you can find them off you go if you find them in the usa find them in europe yep they're all exactly the same built by the same company so with that in mind i'd like to thank you all for watching please like and share and subscribe to my channel um comment in down below anything and everything i always reply to anyway i'm pretty good at doing that i, I would like to put a plea out if people could consider being the patreon of the channel to help me out and fund this channel because this is a really difficult to keep a youtube channel going and getting some fresh content on there tell your friends i know i've got 95 percent of my viewers do not subscribe i would love it if you could all subscribe and just absolutely scare the bejesus out of me and then suddenly i've gone from at the moment there's nearly 4,000 subscribers suddenly going up to 40,000. that'd be just the biggest bestest present ever so if you can't do that then please follow me in another, see me in another video and i'll see you later and it's like, yeah, you yeah, have. <laughs> that needs cutting, don't it? So I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.